before the mountains were brought forth, or ever thou hast formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. Thou turnest man to destruction, and says, Return ye children of men, for a thousand years in thy sight are but as yesterday when it is past, and as a watch in the night. Thou carest them away as with the flood, and the morning they are like grass which grow it up, and the morning it flourisheth and grow it up. But in the evening it is cut down and withereth. Days of four years are three score years and ten, but if by reason of strength they be four score years, yet is their strength, labor, and sorrow, for it is soon cut off and we fly away. So teach us the number of our days, that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. These are the words of the Lord. May we be blessed as we contemplate on his words today. Amen. Amen.
heavenly reality. We thank you for your sweet Holy Spirit, your presence mm. among us today. As we celebrate, oh God, the life of Brother Hubert Kingley, oh God, we pray that we all will be joyful this morning. I know that if he was alive, he will be shouting. And so this morning was to thank you for those of us that are gathered here and hope that we will not mourn as others do because we have a hope. Bless us and bless this program today in Jesus' name.
in America, he know me and say, Sister Master, and then my wife. His wife is here. So he said, How many wives you have? No, 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 Sister Finley. <laughs> no, 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 Sister Finley. And we have so many fun moments. Today is a joyful day for me. For everything I remember about Brother Finley, it's just fun. So anything you hear, just laugh. It's just fun. And I better think it one. I do remember when I have died. People, I can't tell you, it was hard days. And I have a big tin of blue seal vaseline. And I went and I broke some rules. And when I came back, see no fall America in the bed and the little girl. She dig out the whole of the vaseline and the plaster and see a two little eyes. Looking at me, and by the time you put rubber to the slap her, you know, I read a film. Missy do so, was coming and heavy baby coming and he head up and he head up and post. And my mom for clean and he wipe and he clean and he wipe. And the baby never come back till late in the evening. When she came back, you see no fuss.
we now go into uh, uh, tributes. Um, I saw, uh, I'm looking at Trevor Myers, family friend. So I'm going to go into this order and I just want you to just pay attention and come up in, the, in this order. And remember, you are one and a half minutes. Just a minute and a half will be good for us. So that we can get through as many as, as possible in the allotted time. We have um, Trevor Myers, then Judy Dixon, Tashawa Turner, Owen Dockery, and, and Tracy Ann Hall in that order. Thank you.
He have one enemy. And that, Brother Finley always said, Brother Duffy, if I came and catch the devil, I don't know what I would do with it. So the devil was his enemy. And so he tried in every way to defeat the enemy. And so I tell you that Brother Finley was a man of God. He was an evangelist. He was a counselor. He was my personal counselor. When I became a Seventh-day Adventist, Brother Finley was the one who even, he teach me to pray, he teach me to preach, he teach me so much things, you know, and he was my spiritual father. I have so many more things to say about him, but as we say, the time the does not allow us, you know, to, 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 to say all the things that I would like to say. But I know I will see him again. May God bless him. Michelle to sit and actually and go home while Papa took care of the animals. 
he was not used to having a young child with him, so he went to a lunch. While the poor woman eating and making Mary, they heard a call from one of his friends at home. He should have seen him on the tree where Papa apparently left her. Oh, sorry. Oh, my God. 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 Sorry. While he was eating, you know, Papa went home alone, so he took the child home to him. The whole family started to laugh about it because it's not just so Papa can. You know, all the spaghetti. Papa took nothing too serious. He was always smiling and making like of every situation that he faced in his life. You know, he was such a great prankster. Once he told his cousin, then he had, you know, see, someone stopped me like, and you know, want to come pick it. Later that day, she walked all the way from the top side to top side to go get her so stuff because she knew if he pick it, and her would have to be waiting for her. Those that do not know, this is bottom side and top side, this is where his family post is. When she got to the house, they realized someone else picked it. To this day, nobody knows who picked this one stuff. Papa died leaving eight grandchildren and great grand. He was such a pillar of community that he left an indelible impact on everybody whom he met. You know, I just want to say on behalf of the family, I feel your grief and I am grieving with you and I know that every single person in this community who knew I me mean, still feels for you guys. You know, we just continue, we just wish you the best and we start to hope and pray that you gain strength from God to continue because one day you will not see you in Christ. Where's the 
night and would be Sunday night. And so he would he would do everything for a church to plant in Toronto. Okay? And so after which we got baptized the second baptism and that was Ishmael and and Karen, yes, myself, and it was eleven of us. And this is a homecoming for us. And I will show you how Father was here, who was Papa and best friend, best pastor, and everything. He was a man of God, he was children lover. Papa can have no enemy, and if you want to make any with him, he will not make any with you. He is a man who loved the Lord and constantly leading people to Christ. Today is this is his homecoming and we're saying goodbye. It is good night here and truly good morning over here. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. I could not be my children in America because I was in the kitchen. And I'm telling you, this man, I'm going to miss him from, from the day he passed until I lose my, I lost my life as well. Papa, when I go, when I'm going to Papa's house, I, as I reach the porch and I open the door, he says, I know me, I know me, Brooks there, you know, you are bad enough. I don't cook Sunday dinner, because Papa makes sure my Sunday dinner is ready. And I'm going to miss, miss, miss him. And it's a part of my children's family. God bless you. We're going to take just one more tribute. Our sister Philly would love to do a song so she will have a chance. Good afternoon, Arden. I'm not feeling like who I am. Now I'm going to watch my sister Philly. I just want to say how much my husband was so good to me. When we met each other, um, they gave, um, in, the, in the church that I am worshiping, he really announced that they attended what has burnt down. I didn't know him, but he said he's from St. Elizabeth, and I know I'm from St. Elizabeth. So I went to him and said, where is St. Elizabeth you from? He said he's from Santa Cruz. And I said to him, I'm Ison Lacovia. And he said, sure. I said, yeah. So after I went to church and went near to business, I went to him and said, please, say, um, I would like to help him, knowing that he's also very good. So I told him to give me his wife, um, sweet number, children, and a jersey. So he gave me. So, one of my friends that was living at my house, I asked him to go and get him at the front of So he went and we went and left him. I put him to the store and I uh, picked up some things for his wife and children. She was a little bit of 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 Next year when he get back and they gave the announcing church that his his um his wife had a stroke. Okay. I said to him, sir, all you have to do is pray, baby. Keep close to God in prayer. Because I know it's true she in his house. It's true she in his house and everything. I know that what we can do. Anyway, he went home. And the other year he came back, he got in and said his wife died. So I went back to him and when I go to church on Sabbath, I gave him a envelope. I didn't tell him how much money he did. So when he came home, he opened the envelope. 
and call him. He said, Mom, Sister Fix, Sister Dennis, I didn't know you was that so great and so good to your brethren. I said, yes. I know when a man loses his soul and needs everything, I can feel it. No one he loves. So, he went and got back some things and he fell home. After he was telling me, you know, he didn't even say it was that. So, he said to me, I must ask some of my church brethren to pick up some things for him. So I did it. And Brother Marshall took him to and get him at the corner. I gave him an end with his own money. And he didn't get him to the money for it. After when everything is said and done now, his wife, he called me, he gave me a shot. He said, it was not he, he called, it was, he gave his daughter the phone to talk to him and said, Sister, Sister Denny, I want you to be my mommy. I said, what? He said, yes, I want you to be my mommy. I said, I don't know, I don't know anything about your father, but his house burned out and I tried to help him, so I don't know anything about his father. I want you to be my mommy, Sister Denny. Okay, so he handed it for his father. So I said, Brother Henry, what your daughter said to me, what do you mean by it? He said, Sister Denny, I was watching you all the way. I said, Thank you. How do you know I don't have a husband? He said, Sister Denny, when you come to church, I give you your own eyes to come to church. You're not dreaming, Baron.
in the sight of God. Because let me tell you something, there is coming a day when no heartache shall come, no more clouds in the sky, no more tears will be more eyes. Oh, there will be peace forevermore on that happy golden shore. What a day, glorious day that will be. God bless you and take comfort.
but on behalf of my sister, in, in my sisters in England, and the rest of the siblings, I want to present Anomi with this gift of love from us. So Anomi, we want you to know that all of us is there for you, and we love you, and we continue loving you just like Papa. We think we even love you more than Papa, okay? So take care of you and yourself. All right, Anomi? Oh, 
more. And I don't think I saw on this because I remember in Antigua Bay when he comes to visit, he would have a holy fabulism. He would fell in love with his cool maid, the late Veronica Finley. The couple was married in 1975, and to them the union was blessed with nine children. Sounds familiar, right? Anthony, which is his stepson, Andrea, Jacqueline, Ivor, Thai, Michelle, Robert, Keisha, and the late General Finley. In 1981, Uncle Conn was happy to become a grandfather. He took his grandson, Kamar, as one of his children. Uncle Conn was raised in a Christian home and ensued that, ensured that all his children attended the church. In the summer of 1992, he gave his life to the Lord and he became a baptized member of the Parker Mountain Seventh-day Adventist Church. He was an active member and even helped with the construction of the church. He even helped with the construction of this new building and you would have heard that sentiment echoed earlier. He loved to volunteer his time or the time of his children at any church function and the fundraiser. He also was the head deacon. In 1994, the family mourned the loss of his youngest son, Denroy. This was a very emotional time for him. However, he remained jovial as he was just a statement, as it was just a statement to his faith and trust in God and also it was his personality. Just when you were thought he, it was over, the worst in his life came. He lost all his belongings in a house fire in 1997. The entire house was destroyed. This was devastated for him, and now he had nowhere to live. But as they say, Good friends are better than pocket money. His friend Deuce provided accommodation for him and his family, and he did it at no cost. During this time, Uncle Paul started construction on his new family house and was able to move his family in their new home in 1999. His wife, Veronica, got a stroke, can you imagine, when it rains in pours? which added to everything else that he was going through. He took time off from traveling overseas to care for her. However, in September of 2001, he lost his dear wife, Veronica. This was another emotional time for him and his family. And however, Yuval was surrounded with the love and support of his children grandchildren, and other members of his church family. After the loss of Veronica, Euford found love again. Geraldine Dennis and Euford fell in love and were married in December 21st, 2003. The two were in sync from the very start, and I can imagine they were in sync from even before Four. the very start. <laughs> I think she saw tall, brown, chatty on the con. <laughs> the two were inseparable. They would take vacations together, attend their church together, and other activities, they would have done it together. You would not see one without the other. He never walked before his wife, and he would always be, always be her guide. Young men, take a book. In 2007, he was started working as a custodian at the Harvard Adventist Academy from early in the morning to late at night, even on the weekends. He loved children at the school and took his job seriously. He was very dependable and dedicated to his job. If the alarm went off at 4 a.m., hmm, 
by 410, he was there, right at school, holding his chest. It was on October 12, 2012, that Uncle Khan became a member of the Faith Seventh-day Adventist Church in Hartford, Connecticut. And I can understand the blow that he gave to this church because I'm also a Seventh-day Adventist and I know when one of the Star Wars members leave, you will be it. He was always early for church services, especially during a song service. Before Sabbath school, you could hear him say, Brother Paul, I think you saw number 529 under my wings. And of course, he would repeat, Brother Paul, what about 545? Send your like a shepherd to lead us. And after, he would say, One more, 373, seeking the lost. And he said, that Last one, my brother, 530. It is well with my soul. And of course, you can just hear an echo as they finish to him. Thank you, my brother. He was passionate about everything pertaining to witnessing for God, winning souls for Christ, serving and supporting the church, as well as valuing the Sabbath. He was a faithful deacon in the Faith Seventh-day Adventist Church. In 2017, Uncle Khan officially retired from his custodian duties to spend time with his wife, Geraldine. What a joy it was to have Michelle to labor with him and the Geraldine in 2018. Early in 2021, he underwent his first surgery, but he was back on his feet in no time. Early December, he underwent his surgery again. After surgery, he spent a few weeks in post-surgical rehabilitation before he was rushed to the St. Joseph Hospital. Even there, he was ministering about the love of God. He spent his last moments with his family. And on March 6, 2022, your father took his final goodbye. He was succeeded by death of his parents, who was his his brother, and his son, David Finley. Hugh lives to mourn his beloved and devoted wife, Geraldine Finley, his children, Anthony Gowdy, that is from his wife, Veronica, who lives in Florida, Andrew Finley McEwan, who now resides in Kingston, Jacqueline Finley, who resides in England, Ivo, who also is in England, Clive Findlay of Park Mountain, Michelle, who still lives in Connecticut, Robert, who is here in Park Mountain, and Keisha, who is in England. 19 grandchildren and 10 great grandchildren. And may I say, he would have left behind also a host of other families and friends. My brothers and my sisters, persons who are here to celebrate in the life of a giant, I ask you to continue to support the family and may this community of Park Mountain continue to ring aloud the memories of no other than people who live Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Every word that was said is just true. True. Nobody makes up anything. We thank you very much. Thank you very much. You did well. You did well. Okay, we come to the time when the man of God will be speaking to our hearts. Regin, just pass your seatbelt. <laughs> Open your ear. Start to fear it out. Pay focus by looking and listening, right? Because I know God has in store a word for all of us. And I know at the end of it all, we all will say, Aren't our heart burned within us? It was put first to be here. 
person that will bring the word from the throne of God is no other than Pastor Edgar Brandt. Pastor at the time when Brother Finley was going through all those stuff. He is a pastor, but he became a contractor. Amen. To see to it that even in his absence, the word was done on his house. Yes. And he will make every effort to cover the family family must get somewhere comforted. And so we could not help any better person than Pastor Ignal Brandt. They were so close, so close. I'm just happy for the man of God. When he got the call, oh, you're so here, you're here, you're here. Oh, what you say, Brother Ishmael, Brother Philly died. Oh my God. He said, I have to do all I can. Pastor Grant traveled all the way from Montego Bay to be here. Yeah. So you know that we're a fit there, no, no, you could be, be, be. No. <laughs> You understand? Yeah. And I want us to be on our best behavior. Because if he was alive, sure. my foot finger, everybody has to keep their mouth shut. You know? And pay much attention to the word. We are happy. That God take him here safely, and I know we have the word to give all of us. Pastor Ignal Grant, man, I don't know who, don't know Pastor Grant in his community and all the, um, the circuit that he serves. This is a man of God, a down to earth man. He just preaches the word of God as he did. And he also a man of compassion, friendly. You know, his sympathy will always go slow. No matter what you've done, when you hear your pastor grand life, uh, woman of God. You know, he's a very compassionate person. And so before he comes, the Park Mountain SDA Church will bless our heart with a song of meditation. And the next voice you will hear is the voice of the man of God, Edgar Grant. God bless you.
My brothers and sisters, when the time is ready, yes. when the church militant shall become the church triumphant, and we shall be free at last. Yes. Free at last. Yes. Now God Almighty will be free at last. Oh, my brothers and my sisters, I could not stay more eager days. When the service of is here, uh, you want to remember? Yes, sir. Uh, you remember Finn, right? Yes, sir. Good afternoon to you all. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm glad that there are some people who are even trying to. And I'm glad you have come to be a part of this service. And you look good to be ready. The Spring Garden District, then I was transferred to the Marchstone District in Hannibal. Then, then I came to the Santa Cruz District next. I'm saying that for you to understand that there is a funeral service at Warsaw today, I preach at that service, but I told them, no, I can't, bro. <laughs> even, even though that's my first pastoral district, I cannot come. I have to come to St. Elizabeth, to Park Mountain. Because I met a man at Park Mountain that had been so outstanding. That I couldn't be comfortable to go anywhere else. Yes, sir. And not to be a part of a service like this today. Yes. I feel like it work day and the night. Yes. I said yeah, night. Yes. yes. And we were digging down. They started to have this church building to be erected, but I feel like they have missed one single work day. Uh, we pick up uh, whatever he could use uh, and, and, to, and to carry uh, buckets and to mix concrete and uh, you know, anything else that, that he had to do. He was there. He was there. Yes, uh, and, and, and sometimes you would have work day and when you think of your thing you was tired. You, you will come out to evangelistic meeting in the evening. Sure. You wonder. You wonder. So, 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 how could I stay away? And somebody like that. Somebody who, who, who loved the Lord and treasured the, 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 the message so much. They are a man of God. He was a man of God. We still have a printer at home. When we were feeling we to the United States of America and brought back a, a printer of a family life. The first time we were getting something like that, we still have it. And that years ago, you know, years ago, we still have it. And I think it's uh, not less than 20 years. And they still have it. My wife talked about it. Even when she learned to the past, I would have that was the first thing that she said. The uh, first piece of the equipment that had been so meaningful was given to us by Brother Finley. Yes. And Bob Mountain, and she is asking to bring words of condolence to the members of the family. Not able to be here, but to remember her family so much. And all of the goodies and the niceties and whatever her family there was, there was, there was uh, nothing from the father of her family, uh, you know, who would you want to give it where possible? He would give us everything. <laughs> uh, really outstanding, man. You know, what time it offers us a, a committed servant? Faithful servant of God and a friend to man. Very outstanding. And I believe he rests in the Lord. Amen. You see, that makes a difference now. I believe he's resting in the Lord. Waiting the life there. Yes. One of these days, the mercy of the grave.
Yeah. Really? 
that the signs are fulfilled. I said that long. The signs are fulfilled to tell us we are right down in the end. You understand what I'm talking about? There are four kingdoms that rule the world. Babylon, Medo-Persia, Greece, and Rome. You have to understand. Babylon, you also have the divided European kingdoms. There are saints now that
Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Are you ready? Are you ready? I know that some of you might be buried in now. Frustrated and disappointed. Some of you might be treating you rough. We will be having challenges at home with your husband and your wife, your children. Could be at your workplace. And I don't know what is happening in your life. No, I, I didn't come to investigate. No, I just, I just came to tell you.
bow your head. We're going to pray a special prayer. Thanks for this. Oh, Father in heaven, we need you so much. Even this very moment, we need you more than ever. You see the, the fact that death is so wicked down here. You see the suffering of your people. You see crime and violence. You see bloodshed. You see tornadoes. You see diseases wrecking society. You see hatred, bitterness, and anguish. You see separation. Sometimes even babes and suckers are greatly affected. Destroy. You see wickedness in high places and low places. We question how long before we shall overcome. How long before this condition to be no more. How long before you come again to rescue us. We are convinced the world belongs. We see the signs are fulfilled. Moments everywhere. We are convinced that we are right down in the end of time. Please speak to somebody in this place. What not yet made Jesus is our choice. The decision be made for Jesus Christ. Even at the service today, somebody will make a recommitment. We renew his or her commitment with Jesus. And we'll be ready for that day when these conditions will be over. We believe Brother Finley is resting now, waiting the life giver. We know that he served you. We believe that at the sound of the trumpet, then in Christ shall rise, and he'll be a part of the first resurrection. We we'll love to be ready to be with him, to meet you and to live forever. So please remember us now and have mercy. When we think of these family members, even the fact that they are mourning the loss of the loved one, the loved one, give them the, the, the comfort they need. Place your arms around them. Will there be an empty chair, an empty bed? Will there not be a special smile and an embrace? Will there not be that Father has died and that oh, touch from your husband? I pray you give strength to all of these loved ones. Give them the assurance of a brighter tomorrow when they shall be. For a fit again, never more to part. May the hopes be buoyed up. May they look beyond the grave. The glorious resurrection morning. When Jesus shall appear. At the sound of the trumpet, your servant, brother, you for a fit shall come forth to live forever. May they. Be faithful and to meet him again and to reign with you. So help us all to be ready for that day. Is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.
far and then that we are all, you know, it's a miracle we sell. This hymn, the recession of him, take the name of Jesus with you. At the singing of the first verse, you will call your son in your faces, you can come party, you will need a family after the platform party, and everybody follows up the right. We don't have to rush, we all want to reach here, right? Turn to your new sheet, take the Yeah, you can see the power. You are able to look at your program. 
There's a land that is fair and day, and by faith, and by faith we shall sing it afar. From the Father which over the earth, prepare us a good place there to prepare us a good place. For as much as it has pleased Almighty God to allow our dear brother you heard Finley to lay down the burdens of this life we do lovingly commit his body to the ground earth to earth ashes to ashes dust to dust looking forward to the glorious eternal of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who shall change this mortal body and make it into a glorious mortal body whereby he is able to subdue all things unto himself. Amen. Yes, please. Father in heaven, please send the holy angel to mark this pot of ground so that on that glorious Resurrection morning at the sound of the trumpet. Brother Euford Finley will hear the call. 
and will come forth to live forever. Come forth, the family members, give them now the assurance of a brighter tomorrow. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We're going to come to the singing, friends. When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound, and the time shall be no more, when the roll is called yonder, I there. When the seeds of earth shall gather over on the other shore, and the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. Son. Let us talk of all his wondrous love and care. Then when all of life is over and our work on earth is done, and the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the roll is called up yonder, when the roll is called up yonder, Some courses no. no no grave can hold my body down. No grave can hold my body down. No grave can hold my body down. And when the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and the dead in Christ shall rise. No
I know where I am going. I know, yes. Joy bells are ringing. Happy children are singing. I know where I am going. I know. I know where I am going. I know. Yes, I know. Joy bells Happy children are singing I know where I am going I know When I get there Oh yes When I get there Oh I will sing and shout When I get there Hallelujah Praise in the Lord When I get there, oh yes, when I get there, oh, I will sing and shout. When I get there, hallelujah, praise in the Lord. When I get there, I'm gonna ring out those heaven bells. When I get there, I'm gonna. Ring out those heaven bells when I get there. We're gonna ring out those heaven bells when I get there. My sorrow will be over and heaven rejoice come over. We're gonna ring out those heaven bells when I get there. I could not bear. I oh, hallelujah, read I love that man, love that man from Galilee. For he has done so very much for me. He has taken all my sins and let the Holy Ghost come in. I love that man, that man from Galilee. It's a hard road to travel and a mighty long way to go. Oh yes, Jesus, the blessed Savior, He's gonna meet me by the way I know. Many a lonesome valley, many deep waters flow. It's a hard road to travel and a mighty long way to go. It's a hard road to travel and a mighty long way to go. He's gonna lead me by the way I know. Many a lonesome valley, many deep waters flow. It's a hard road to travel and a mighty long way to go. I am determined to hold on to the end. Jesus is with me. Jesus is with me. I can depend. For I know. Salvation. 
I feel it in my soul. I am determined to hold on to the end. I am determined. I am determined to hold on to the end. Jesus is with me. On Him I can depend. For I know I have salvation. I feel it in my soul. I am determined to hold on to the end. I'm going away. I'm gonna leave this world. Leave this world. No more to roam. Come on, some Some sweet day, some sweet day, I'm going away, 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 I'm going away,
those who believed in your word will be raised to life eternal. I pray you may continue to be with us, continue to lead us, continue to guide and to direct our steps. Have your own sweet way in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus Christ. We give you thanks. It's amen. 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 Lord bless you everybody. Tony. Nice that you're able to join us and even to be in the rain. Take care. The family members are requesting that you stop by the house for repast. So please join them there. And have a wonderful evening. Take care. Let us all be faithful until the master comes again. We can hear well done and live forever. God bless you everybody.